hear you got a new video series starting up, Chad. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, we're going to start a new video series. And what we're going to do is show, you know, our customers what goes on behind the scenes at Acoustic Sounds. We're going to do things like uh, when we get these large collections in of used collectible records, we're going to show them coming in and what we got and how we clean them and how we, you know, we put them into inventory and how we, and, uh, and then we're going to do things like uh, maybe go to our pressing plant, quality record pressings, and show UHQRs being pressed and, and how we uh, Gary Salsham plates records and how we press records and and then we're going to go to our recording studio Blue Heaven Studios and we're going to show uh, when, when we're making the reel-to-reel -reel tapes that we make you know we've got eight ATR machines that are all totally gone through and we make seven tape copies at the same time that's kind of cool to see you know all the tapes being made we also can show, we bought Doug Sachs Mastering Facility, we're going to show us cutting records, you know, so from, from, the, from the cutting of the record to the plating at QRP to the pressing of the record, we're going to show all those steps. We're going to talk to Matt, the engineer, the, record, uh, the mastering engineer, Matt Luthens, talk to Gary Sahlstrom, the plating engineer, and uh, we're also going to show, uh, you know, vintage audio, and um, and just just all kinds of different interesting things, and we're also going to make big announcements like we're going to make a new UHQR or uh, the new series coming out. And you know the reason we're doing this is in the old days I talked to the consumer, you know one by one on the phone. You know this is back uh, way back before the internet, like in 1986 when we got a thermal fax that was a really big deal, and that way I could communicate with our customers overseas during the middle of the night. Then we started taking credit cards, then we got a 1-800 number. These are all really big steps in the growth of acoustic sounds. I know they sound a little bit ridiculous or funny now, but you know, I was cooking for minimum wage as a cook back then, and I was doing this out of a bedroom in my house. Again, this is like in 1986. And uh, you know, then, then of course, when the 18-wheelers started pulling into my neighborhood, our, cust uh, our neighbors didn't quite appreciate that too much, so we had to, to move out. And um, then in 1989 is when we did our first reissue, and, uh, and you know, that's pretty much how we started. And, you know, now with all the new technology, you know, with Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and, and the Internet and all this, we're able to communicate with our customers uh, a lot better and more, you know, more efficiently. And like I said, my ear is really still very low to the ground. I talk to my customers all the time. But now that we have 100 employees and we have 40,000 customers, it's kind of hard to do it like I once did it before. And I think this way uh, we'll be able to communicate with all of our customers better, keep them up to date, show them interesting things. I mean, this is my hobby. I mean, I started this as a hobby. It's still my hobby. I still collect records. I still buy records. It's, it's, um, it's really the funnest part of my job is when we remaster my favorite record and we're able to get my favorite record sounding better than it's ever sounded before. That is really uh, what drives me. And what blows me away is every time we do that, that I think every record that you ever heard could sound way better than it does. That is what just blows my mind. Every time we beat the original, I'm like, I can't believe how much better our new cut and pressing sounds better than the original. And then it just makes me think of how much better every record there is in the world is. And it's kind of like my goal, uh, goal is to, to uh, you know, and, and one of my employees coined this term, you know, acoustic sounds is saving the world from bad sound. And it's kind of what we do, you know, and so I want to show uh, our customers how we go about doing that. You know, I have a, a, an A-B system, which is a, a uh, it's a mastering console with two turntables set up the same way. And I can, you know, I can set the level, the volume, the same on both records. 
and then I can A, B those, and I can hear, you know, what we've done, like, real quick, real fast. Now, it's very easy to hear when we really beat it, beat it bad. But sometimes the original, they did a real good job. And on those, it's a little bit tougher. That's why, you know, we have our ATC speakers and that mastering console, I'm able to dial it in and AB. So I'm going to show customers what we do and how we do it and, and why our stuff sounds the way it does. Great. Yeah, videos are a great way to communicate. Uh, how often are you planning to do these? Well, you know, maybe at least once a week, maybe two or three times a week. Um, maybe it's not always going to be me. Maybe it's one of our hi-fi salesmen or maybe it's uh, the people in the vinyl vault or, or Gary Sahlstrom at the uh, pressing plant. And I'm thinking about maybe even doing live Zoom, well, uh, Facebook Live where... You know, everybody can watch live and ask Gary Solstrom questions, maybe while we're pressing on the UHQR. And I think that might be interesting that people can ask questions about anything that may interest them about the process of making records. So, Chad, now that we're doing these videos and you're taking questions, here's a good question. What projects have you been working on lately? Man, we've been doing a many many projects you know some of them I really can't talk about but I can tell you that when the world hears about it they're uh, gonna be very happy but one thing I can share is the acoustic sounds verve impulse series we're doing and uh, the next two that we just announced is the uh, the Ray Charles genius plus soul equals jazz this was the second impulse done and uh, this one, Ray Charles owns the master. It reverted back to him. And uh, the master tape, Kevin Gray cut this one. And the master tape we had to get from Ray Charles and it had Braille on it. Okay, so this, um, we're really excited about this one. Sounds really good. Original Impulse, the beautiful, you know, lam laminated uh, jackets, gatefold. The next one is uh, the Gil Evans out of the cool. This was the fourth impulse done. This, uh, you can see how they, they set up the recording. I mean, just such a fantastic recording. And uh, supposedly the master tape was missing on this one. Uh, uh, that's what the word on the street was. But we found it. We found it and we will show pictures of it. And so... This is, they, they both sound so great. Uh, Ryan Smith at Sterling Sound cut this one off the master, and we will show the, uh, the tape soon. The, the reason that, uh, that Universal hired me to oversee this series is they wanted me to make sure that the sound quality and everything was done to the highest standard, which they wanted me to do it exactly the way we do our own record. That's exactly what they asked. They said, we want you to make our records exactly the way you make your records. And whatever that is, that's how we want it done. So, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, emailing, oh, I heard the master of that was destroyed. And, and it's true that there is a little bit of rumors about that. But, you know, we want, hopefully a lot of our customers trust that since I'm in charge, I'm overseeing all this. I'm not going to put out anything unless it's just absolutely awesome. So, you know, they can relax a bit, knowing that I'm overseeing this. If we put it out, it's going to sound awesome. And they ought to really always trust their ears with what they get. If it sounds awesome, then it's awesome, you know. So, but I'm overseeing it. I'm making sure I know what, what's going in the sausage. You know, relax. Go buy the ones we did before, the two coal trains, the, the Gets Garbretto, you know. These things sound awesome, and we're not going to, there's so many titles to do. If we can't find a master, or if we can't find a master, and it's a great record, and there's a really, really good tape copy, we may use that. But we may not also, but there's so many titles. We'll take it all case by case, but pretty much everything has been done from the analog master. We're going to be transparent with everything. 
just like I'm just like on my own label. So we're very excited. We're fixing to release the uh, the next one. Maybe the next video is the announcement for the 2021 series, which are going to be mostly Impulse because it's their uh, 60th anniversary of Impulse. So we got a lot to come. We're very excited about those. Now, another thing that we're going to be doing in, uh, is the kind of blue UHQR. This is the original kind of blue white label promo. Now, I bought this in a bunch of Miles Davis and Columbia Records from the guy that says, this is CBS. So I got that from him. I mean, it's that voice that sounds like God that they used to when they put the, the Columbia eye on the CBS logo. Uh, anyway, this is the original white label. This is uh, our UHQR, the leatherette dowel, wooden dowel. They have to make all this by hand. Very thick box, textured. Um, this is our cover. The most deluxe cover you can buy, money can buy. Stout and printing, uh, laminated. We turned it into a gatefold. And uh, this is the specification sheet that talks about how a UHQR is made. Shows you the plat flat profile, 200 gram. This is a uh, limited edition certificate with our patents on the UHQR and the Clarity and some of the people that were involved in making your record. This is the booklet that comes with. And we're going to be start pressing this any day. Now we're not going to put it up on the web for orders to be taken until we're a lot closer to being able to fill it. But uh, this is what we're working on right now. This is a big deal. This was mastered by Bernie Grunman off the original three track tapes. It was done in 1994. The tape was uh, a lot newer and fresher and Sony's not letting the three track tape out ever again. So there's no way we could have improved upon what Bernie did in 1994. The only way we can improve on it is the nicest packaging the nicest booklet, the nicest jacket, and the nicest flat profile, handmade, one at a time, with the, a lot longer uh, pressing cycle for a better impression on a flat profile UHQR. So, buy now or cry later. That's all I can say. Um, so we're going to be doing more of this, showing some of my rare albums showing uh, the pressing plant, the recording studio, the mastering facility, making reel-to-reel -reel tapes, showing the vinyl vault collections coming in, showing new high-end audio that comes in when we get uh, vintage equipment. And we're just gonna try to communicate more oftenly and frequently with our customer, let them know what's going on at Acoustic Sounds.